from the station putting local first. This is KTSM 9 News Weekend. Thick black smoke could be seen across the sky in East El Paso as an elementary school went up in flames today. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Christina Weil. When our crews arrived, they could see flames shooting out of the building as firefighters worked to put out the blaze. KTSM 9 News reporter Tani Davis uh, was on the scene. And Tani, what can you tell us? Christina, the situation is now under control and investiga investigators are now assessing the situation. At 4.27 p.m. today, reports of a classroom on fire called the El Paso Fire Department to the scene. When they arrived, they reported fire from the windows. Officials went inside and found one classroom involved with heavy smoke conditions. Initially reported as a condition two fire, it quickly rose to a condition four after the fire spread to the roof of the building. They were able to get water onto the fire and get it under control. There are no injuries reported, and the department is now assessing the damage. What we're working on now is there's some smoldering in the attic. It's uh, pretty tough because there's cinder block and steel in the roof structure, but we want to make sure that the wood and stuff burning inside uh, you know, isn't going to smolder all night and continue to burn. As for the school, which is under EPISD, it has been vacant since June of 2021 as part of a consolidation with two other schools to form Archie Duran Elementary School. Crosby is a vacant campus, therefore will not affect students going forward. The school has been empty uh, for quite some time. Uh, these kids are now at a brand new school that's part of the EPISD bond consolidation and right sizing process. Uh, so we're thankful for that. It won't impact instruction. Uh, instruction for the kids that, that normally would have been here is going to continue uh, uh, as normal because they're in a brand new school. Officials say they plan on being there until morning to further assess the building as well as wait for the investigators to make the report. Well, I'm Tani Davis. I'm back to you, Christina. Okay, Tani, thank you so much for that. Well, a man